Welcome to Smooth Tube. I'm your host, Jair Rosalke in the motherfucking building. Shout out to the boys. Let's get into this one. The only thing that women respect is your strength. And your strength as a man is measured by your ability to set boundaries and also by your ability to stick to your morals and your principles. And quite frankly, if you don't have any, then <laughs> you're not a man, period. If people can't trust your word, then you're not a man either. Right? One thing that I've realized in all my experiences with women is that at the end of the day, bro, <laughs> you can try to appeal to them. And this is just with anybody, even society. Let's, let's take it to a larger scale. You can try to appeal to people, right? And you can try to compromise certain parts of yourself to try to make them happy. That's never gonna work out, bro. I'll tell you this right now, that's never gonna work. <laughs> you may see these celebrities like Harry Styles and you know what I'm saying? Whatever that Latino artist or whatever is wearing dresses and shit. And you think that's gonna get you more hoes and, and acting like more like a female? Bro, two bitches in a relationship does not work. I don't care what nobody says. If you act like a bitch, you're gonna get treated like one. Period. If you act like a man, you're gonna get hella hoes. But that's not even an accomplishment. <laughs> you should be getting women naturally because it's not art, right? But back onto the moral point and to the more important points. Bro, I've been getting women my whole entire life. Simply based off the fact that I don't care what people think about me. I do whatever I want, how I want, say whatever I want. And honestly, that's been a detriment of mine in certain cases. But in most cases, it's worked in my favor, honestly. Because one thing I've learned as a man is the more aggressive you are, more likely than not, you're gonna get what you want, right? And let me give you some examples of me displaying strength. <laughs> Just recently, this literally happened at work, right? Long story short, <clears throat> there's this young lady who's actually a manager, right? And something happened where I, I didn't do anything that was like, you know what I'm saying, necessarily bad because a lot of people do it, but you're technically not supposed to do it. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, it's one of those things. But instead of her directly talking to me, she went to another manager and ratted on me basically and tried to get me in some serious trouble. But yet she always comes up to me and, you know, hey, how you doing? And all this other, you know, glittery shit, right? You know what I learned from that situation? <laughs> or should I say, you know what information has been recycled from that situation? Number one, women are not confrontational creatures. They're just not. How often have you heard a woman say, oh, I'm just trying to fuck? I don't want any type of relationship. I just want to have sex with you. I've never heard that in my entire life. I've never heard that ever, <laughs> never, right? How often have you heard a woman say, yeah, I'm not feeling you like that. I just want you for your attention. But how many times have you been strung along? It happens to the best of us. We've all been there. <laughs> We've all been in the friend zone without even realizing what the friend zone was. You know what I'm saying? Right? And also, this is just representative of the real world, bro. You can't trust anybody. You can only trust people based off of who they presented themselves to be time and time and time and time again. But trust is like rent, bro. You got to keep paying up. Loyalty is like rent. They slip up one time, man. It's over with. I'm not saying like I trusted her or anything from the get go because when I'm at work, I'm just there to get money. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. <laughs> For real. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what the game is. 
I already knew something like that was gonna happen. It just is what it is. It comes with the territory. You know what I'm saying? When you're a chosen one, like I was saying, bro, you're gonna have ops. You're gonna have people that wanna see you fall for absolutely no reason, but then will smile in your face. Like they fuck with you. When in reality, they're snakes, right? And me personally, I don't take any type of disrespect from nobody, whether it's male or female. For males and for females, men and women alike, I simply ignore them <laughs> whenever they start to disrespect me. The only thing is though, is once a man breaks a certain personal barrier with me to where he's confrontational, oh, I'm gonna elbow you in the fucking face. And then I'm gonna uppercut you and then I'm gonna hit you with a left hook. And it's gonna send you night, night. And all you're gonna see is stars floating over your head like a cartoon. I can't do that with women, obviously. <laughs> because they're biologically weaker than us. And on top of that, it goes against society in what's actually right to do. You're not supposed to put your hands on a woman. On a woman. I don't condone that. At all. That's soft. You're fighting a creature that can't even defend itself against you. <laughs> it's not right, bro. You know? So what did I do? I simply ignored her. <laughs> and I keep on ignoring her every time I see her. And you know what's funny? Is as I started to see her more at work, she constantly keeps on pressing me to try to talk to me. And on top of that, every time she walks past me, she's literally smiling at me and like trying to get my attention and all this other shit. Like fighting for my fucking attention. Ain't that crazy how it works? The more you ignore them, the more they try to press you. Why is that? It's not that they like that you're ignoring them. It's not that they like that you're quote unquote being toxic in a way. It's simply that you're displaying strength. Because most women their whole entire lives have dudes kissing their asses, including their fathers. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're this. Just, you know what I'm saying? Filling their asses up with just all this nonsense. When in reality, like, they haven't really faced reality. <laughs> Simply put. Most of these women have not been told that their shit stank. Period. So they go around with these giant inflated egos. And then when somebody like me treats them how they're supposed to be treated. <laughs> when they're deserving of being treated like that. It's like, what the fuck? Like, who is this dude? Right? Switching topics. It's the same thing with some of the females that I'm talking to right now. Bro, I have hella females that are trying to come back to me that I've been fucking with like earlier this year or two years ago, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you're not, you're not coming back. No. Like, you responded to me late and try to play me like I'm stupid. Like, bro, everybody is on their phones. Whether you wanna acknowledge this fact or not, like, if you're not responding to me at least within a day, bro, I know for a fact you don't fuck with me. So why the fuck are you trying to come back now? <laughs> I'm asking you a question. <laughs> Cause I know some of you motherfuckers be watching my shit and then act like you don't. You be watching my moves. I see you. Yeah, it's all good. I see the analytics. <laughs> yeah, you, you're never gonna sit on this ever again. <laughs> never. <laughs> oh shit. Nah. Uh, fuck, I'm fucking with you. But in all seriousness though, for real. Like, you gotta be able to set boundaries for yourself as a man. Like, if you continuously allow people to disrespect you, they're just gonna walk all over you for the rest of your life. You're only gonna be able to stop somebody from crossing a boundary if you set the boundary. <laughs> it's that simple. If you don't set any boundaries, people are gonna continuously cross you. That's just how it is. 
men or women, but especially with women, because women have to be trained in order for them to be fitting into your life correctly. You have to show her what she can and can't do, or else she's just gonna do whatever the fuck she wants to do, period. That's how it is. Take it or leave it. Women aren't like men who have this, you know what I'm saying, like underlying code, like, oh man, that's some, that goes against bro code, or man, I gotta be a man of my word. There is no such thing as a woman of her word. She's trained based off of her biggest influence, whether that's Cardi B, whether that's society, whether that's her father, and most women grow up without fathers, so what are they looking up to? Oh, these bitches on social media, shaking ass all day, and that's where they're getting their inspiration from. They're looking up to Lizzo, like she's somebody to look up to. <laughs> A fat bitch with no ass, no titties, not even pretty, who shakes it and tries to own it like she, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, no. <laughs> No, bro. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> you gotta be a man, bro. You gotta be able to say no when it's time to say no, and you gotta be able to say yes when it's time to say yes. Figure it out, bro. Hope this helps you. The man, the myth, the legend. Signing out. <laughs>